Another thing that happens, which I, which is amazingly lucky for us, is you probably heard of radiometric dating, right? Where you look at, <laughs> okay, suppose you have some uh, ancient fossilized life form and you're like, how old is this stuff? It might be, you know, if it's super ancient, it's too old for carbon-14 dating. Mm -hmm. So instead, they use what is known as radiometric dating. So when metals, when materials go into the core of the earth, not the core, but the mantle, and melt and get reformed and form these metamorphic rocks like gr granite, right, for example, there is this one material called zircons that, that form these little tiny, I don't know what to call it, grains. You know, they have a particular melting temperature. So they're melted and then they freeze into their grains. OK, so here's what's really lucky about them. When they when they when they form their crystal structure, when they go from melted to solid, what happens is if there is any lead that's inside that area, when it forms a crystal, it pushes the lead out of itself. But if there's any uranium it incorporates the uranium. And why is that lucky? Because when, rate, when uranium decays radioactively, it decays into lead. So there are two different uranium isotopes that occur that each will uh, radioactively decay into a different lead isotope so in one little crystal, you have two separate clocks, right? And they must agree. So why is that relevant? Because suppose this material is forming a lattice and it pushes some stuff out, but it incorporates some stuff inside, something that gives its, 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 its lightweight and strength on the inside, but yet have the metal coating on the outside. 